I'm gonna start right with the hard hitting questions. Hard hit. Because hard. we all started from somewhere, you know. <laughs> do you remember the first big paycheck you ever got? Do you just remember it? I do. Okay. Now, what did you do with the money you made from that big paycheck? Well, it was a big paycheck to me. It was ten thousand dollars. I mean, that's... it was like, wow, that was a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And I was... they are not paying me on this yeah. show. <laughs> so it was 1997, and I bought a used Lexus. <laughs> I bought a 1995. ES 300. You splurged that hard. Yeah, but I, I didn't buy it. I only had the money for the down payment at that point. <laughs> I forgot that when you put that money down, that's gone, and then you got monthly payments after that. And... I have a picture of this right here, actually. I want to know how hard you flexed. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, the pose with the keys just to, you know, really let it yeah. sell that this is my car. And I got the, the gold keys. package. The gold package? Yeah, What's so the gold those package? Those were gold. The what? When that was the thing. They were gold the plated. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they were gold. <laughs> they were gold plated. That's that's interesting. I was a little less selfish, I think. Oh. Wow. What, what did you splurge on with your oh, first paycheck? Was it also ten thousand dollars? No, it was more than that. <laughs> no, but uh, by the time I paid commissions and taxes, it might have been. All alert. <laughs> um, no, I, I got my uh, grandparents uh, a washer and dryer. They were in their 70s and had never had, they never had a laundry room of their own and they were in their 70s. So I, I looked out for my grandparents. <laughs> so over the course of pretty much any actor's career, I feel like there are moments where you get passed on for another actor and then you see the movie come to life and you're like, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Are there any roles that you two got passed on that would like turn out to be huge movies. So, so I, I, I got, I didn't get passed up by like an actor. I got passed up by a rapper. And is that better or worse? That that hurt at the time. <laughs> it really, really hurt. So I was doing Too Fast, Too Furious, mm -hmm. and I wanted the role that Ludacris ended up getting, and I read for that role and mm -hmm. I didn't get it, and they gave it to Ludacris, and so I hated Ludacris from that day forward. <laughs> And then we started working on the we started working on the movie together, and I really didn't like him. Like I didn't want to talk to him. I was really upset. It was like a real thing. Yeah, I was really bitter. And so, <laughs> so, it so it happened, right? It happened. it happened. And then one day, somehow, I was talking about how I needed to do laundry because I was down in Miami. You could have gone to your grandparents. And we, we were shooting in Miami. That was a nice one. That was a nice. One. <laughs> and so, we were shooting in Miami, and I had nowhere to do laundry. And Chris was like. Yo, why don't you just come by the crib? You know what I mean? I got a house. And I was like, oh, I got a hotel room. You got a house. That's even better. But he was like, no, seriously, come by and do role. your laundry. <laughs> right. Exactly. He was like, do your laundry. So I came, I came, I went over to his house one weekend and, and, and actually did laundry at his house. And it was like one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for me. And now we're cool. That's All right. Well, that's sweet. Also, you're celebrating, get this, 30 years of being a stand up. Congratulations. That is awesome. That much experience and so much time spent on stage. Has it ever, has there ever been a time where a joke didn't land the way you thought it would land, or things just didn't go as planned? So you, here's the thing with stand-up: you're never above failing. It doesn't matter who you are. You can go on and you can fail, night after night, even after being successful. But the first time it happens is the worst time, mm -hmm. and that was in 1993. The Far Side was on fire at that time. The group yeah. Far Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I was opening for them, and I was like, woo! I'm opening for the far side. And I thought I was going to be mad slick. I was like, I went to my friend's store. He had like a hip hop shop. And I said, yo, I need you to make me like a baseball jersey. And I wanted to have red in it. And I wanted to say strictly hip hop. And then I was going to wear these red jeans with it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I was coordinating. <laughs> it was 93, man. It's, a cro it's the cross colors era. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I got this dope baseball jersey. And I had the red jeans, and I tucked in the baseball jersey <laughs> like an idiot. Like a baseball player. Yeah, you know how they do it. Yeah. And then I got booed off. It was. <laughs> just for oh, your no, clothes. I deserved it. I deserved it. Just for your clothes? I, I mean, you didn't even I, tell I, a joke. They just. Uh, they kind of looked at me. I, I'm sure they were like, "The hell is who is that?" They actually booed you. Oh, booed me. Not like, hmm. They were like, boo. <laughs> and, and this is Toronto in the 90s, and you got these big Jamaican dudes, and they like to emphasize the boo. It's not like boo, it's like boo. <laughs> like they're trying to scare you. Boo! Oh, come in there! Boo! 
<laughs> so you feel it in your soul. Yeah. My mouth went dry. Like, I remember the feeling. Like, 